Hey folks, so unfortunately, this is a message that the majority of African American parents have to have with their child before sending them somewhere on their own, you know what I'm saying, or away from home. Check this out. I need you everything you need to know, so let's just run through a couple things real fast. Number one, I need you to treat women with respect, always, even if you think you're right. Be respectful. Number two, don't mix white and dark liquor. That's how you end up in the back of a police car. Speaking of which, get you a white friend. Black men with white friends are 38% less likely to be shot by the police. Are you listening? You're just going to stare at me. You're just going to stare. That's what you're going to do? I'm going to put this on video for you. And when you're old enough, you come back and watch it, deal? Thank you, Frankie Mellis. All right. So, as we can see, you know, as African Americans, we have to have a little different conversation with our sons at a much earlier age than pretty much anyone else, you know. We got to keep it real with them to let them know if you want to survive in this place, there are certain rules of engagement that you must learn and adhere to at all times. Well, maybe not when you home and in your luxurious house that you've acquired because you paid attention to your dad's sound scientific advice american advice racist country advice yeah but hey it's much better than the alternative not having that conversation with him and him ending up in the back of a police car several times call that the african-american vacation because they go there so much it's like a vacation and matter of fact a lot of them talk about it as if it's such yeah man it was time for me to put it down you know take a break <laughs> really that's how you take a break i'm good you can miss me with that i don't want that kind of break Nah, not at all. I'm straight. If that's the kind of break I have to take.